district of Kudat. In the northern part of Sabah, lives a 68 years old herbal healer, Maginda Magandong. The Matunggong district of Kudat is famous for its gong making, which requires patience and certain traditional skills. At Kampung Sumangkap, there is the biggest gong in the world, as it is recorded in the Guinness Book of Records. Kampung Sumangkap is also known for its original honey, which is in demand locally and abroad. It is also famous for its vast variety of these colourful beads. Maginda is from the Rungus community. A retired policeman, he is also a poison's antidote specialist. He prepares his antidote grindings, decoction and parties from about 28 types of stems and roots used to cure many ailments, one of which is being poisoned. Uh, Well-kept uh, knowledge among, among the Rungus is uh, their ability to, to um, create an antidote for poisonous uh, um, liquid or material. For example, somebody get poisoned by, by um, um, herbicide or, or weedicide, and this, these people who own this knowledge claim that they, they can cure this. After extracting the herbs, they should not be dried directly under the sun or outside but using an oven or keep them inside the house to do so. After it has dried, about one or two inches of each of these herbal roots and stems should be ground. The amount depends on how much of these grindings are needed. Those who are bitten by scorpions, snakes and poisonous fish stings can use this poultice for treatment by placing it on the affected area. Besides, people who take poisonous chemicals accidentally can also be cured if they take this medicine within two or three hours. There are instances where modern medical science fails to heal a certain ailment. For instance, this skin disease is called Kurizapticus or rats rash. Nama saya Jominal dari Kampung Rantap. Umur saya 33. Karena karena saya penyakit satu minggu sudah mulai-mulai dia panas. Ini makin lama makin jadi dia panas dalam. Sudah satu minggu. Baru kemarin saya pergi sini. Banyak sudah obat saya pergi kali ini pun tidak ngam obat dia. Nah, baru semalam saya pergi sini dan baru dia kurang kurang panas. He used a mixture of these plants leaves to prepare the medicine for the ailment. However, when our interviewer asked him about the names of the plants used, he was reluctant to tell him. That may be because he wanted to conceal the knowledge from the people Ayah, present. Saya tidak tahu dia punya nama apa. <laughs> Sama saja daun saya ambil, daun rumput saya ambil begitu. Saya tumbuk baru saya kasih ubat sama dia. <laughs> Maginda sells his herbal medicines in the Tamu every Tuesday. However, customers and patients can still buy them from him in his house. Fortunately, his two children are not only interested to continue the trade, but also have submitted their proposals and samples to the concerned authorities to obtain approval and invention copyright so that they can produce the herbs in capsule and peel form. Certainly, Maginda has spent a great deal of time to hand down his indigenous knowledge to them.